Hello and welcome to another Take 5 video. My name is John Recknagel, Precast Application Specialist, and today we're going to be discussing rebar marking, specifically how to get that traditional rebar marking, specifically for the straight bars where you see the bar diameter, dash, feet, and inch. So let's jump right into the model. So here we are with inside Tecla Structures. I have a drawing created of just a basic beam. And what we're going to be after today is we're going to be after this kind of naming convention here where you have the rebar size, dash, feet, and inch. We've been getting this question quite a lot lately, so I thought it would be great to sit down and make a quick little take five video of it. So as everyone knows, Tecla's going to give it a, Tecla's numbering system is going to default to this three digit code. So it's number four rebar and then a randomly generated three digit code. Now that's good for some, especially the more automated plants where they're exporting out bars to ERP systems and rebar benders and things like that. But there are still a fair amount of precasters that want to see this 4-2910 for their bars. So let's jump in and see exactly how to do that. All right, so I'm going to utilize an associative note here. Select on my rebar. Now if I double click on my associative note, you'll notice it's by default bringing up the position tab here. But I can just remove that and I'm going to scroll down here to template. When I click add, you'll see the list of available templates that come available out of the box. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to uh, use this CU um, underscore reinforcement str mark. And what I can actually do is I can edit this template. So with this box still open, just click on edit. That's just going to open up the template editor here. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to work in a side-by-side -side fashion here with this and Tecla. And what we're going to do is you can kind of expand these fields. Now we don't need the, the footer or the part. And it's very important that your row property is set to rebar. And I'm just going to rename this just so it stays clean. Okay. So now if I enter into here, this is where we're going to basically tell Tecla what data we want to grab. So very important, before we start typing you know, in all of the, the fun stuff here, this is relying on the US custom variables extension to be installed. So if you don't have this installed already, I would highly recommend that you do. Um, it's, it's great um, for a number of different reasons, but for this uh, kind of exact procedure that I'm going to show today, you need to have the US custom variables installed. So just go to the Tecla warehouse, download and install that plugin, and that will give you access to all of these additional um, custom variables. So once you have that installed, I'm going to scroll down here to the reinforcement and you'll see there's some custom ones set up here depending on how you want the output to look. Feet, feet, inch, inch, um, or if you want feet, 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 inch, inch, inch. Um, also, um, rounding up Q is going to stand for um, rounding in quarters. So if you want to show a more specific bar length, you certainly can. But for our demonstration purposes today, I'm going to be using this bottom one here. So you can just come down to here and copy this variable. Again, once you have that variable you know, downloaded and installed, you will now be able to come here to um, the formula and you can just say get value, delete this, and paste in that custom variable. Now, I'm going to save this as a new name. I'm going to save this as take 5 January. That's okay. Now, when I get back here and I reopen my drawing, the macro, this reopen drawing process just kind of refreshes those templates. Okay, browse down and find our take five January. And then press modify. And you'll see, just like that, we have the feet and inch exactly like we expected to have using that custom variable. 
So now we kind of have the first piece of the puzzle. Now, if you weren't able to, when you entered into the template here, if you weren't able to see your template here, it's probably because it's saved in the wrong location. It's very important that these templates get saved to the root. So let me open this up here. This is going to be the roots. You're going to look for C, Program Data, Trimble, Tecla, 2020, and so on. And you're going to want to save it in that Mark folder. Once it's in that Mark folder, you can press on the Refresh button here, and then you should see your template pop up there. So now this is our first piece of the puzzle. Now we need to get the size of the bar in front of it. So to do that, I'm going to open back up my template here and double select on it and go back into the formulas here. Now what I can do is I can select, um, first I'm going to do get value and I'm going to select an attribute for the rebar size. So select size and now I'm going to do a space plus I'm going to add in a dash. So to do that, I'm adding a parentheses, or sorry, quotes, dash, quote, and then space, plus, space. Just kind of helps keep everything kind of nice and neat. We can press OK, and then save. And then now when we come back um, to apply this here, I'm going to apply it. So when I reapply it, just like that, we now have that this is a number four bar because it's grabbing that data, then the dash that we put in between the quotes, and then the custom variable to display the feet and inch value of the bar. So this is great, and this is where you know a lot of you may stop, and you may stop right here. This is perfect. This is all, all you need. Um, I'm going to show one additional step to help remove the pound sign, so that way you can see just this right here. So 4-2910. So to do that, you have to use what we call is a string operator. So if you go to our Tecla user assistance page and you uh, search for string operations in the template editor, you'll find this nice article here. And we're going to use the set at string operator here. Basically what this will do is you can uh, kind of look for a value, tell what value to replace, like what position, and then with what character. So to get this to work here, what we're going to do is go back into our template here, double select on it, and come to the formula. And now I'm going to select a string and say set at. Now what I'm going to do is this first, these first sets of quotes here, I can just get rid of these first sets of quotes. And then I'm going to grab this get value size for my bar, right click and cut it. I'm going to come and I'm going to paste it right in front here. So now it's the set at get value size. Now this, the very first digit is the pound. So that's why it's zero because it's the first one. If you did one, it would do kind of the second one after zero. And then for what we want to ins what we want to replace it with, we, we just want to replace it with nothing. Now you can't leave it blank here because um, it doesn't necessarily like blank, so you just put a space. And then if we press OK, and then press Save, head back into Tecla, delete this out, and there you have it. Now you have this functioning template that you can use not only in associative notes, but you can now embed this into templates here. So you can embed this into bill material items, rebar cut sheets, um, any, anything of that nature you can now use this custom template for. Um, another important point here to, to, to point out is, is rounding, right? So some precasters do things a little bit differently, round up, round down. Um, that's all going to be controlled um, in your rebar config. So if you want to um, you know, dive into those settings, just kind of be a little cautious with how much you're rounding up or down, um, but just know that you can control those rounding options in your rebar config files. And then that will ultimately adjust here in the marks. So hopefully you guys found this helpful. Um, thank you guys for watching.